Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. begins with a run by McCaffrey and not the start he was hoping for there as he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it call it no gain on the game's first play and it's second down now defensively though they had a chance there to hit him for a loss couldn't get it done looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield but he wasn't able to get him down but his compatriots they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Play action. Now it's Lance rolling to his left. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. Well, short of them returning it for a pick six, that was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. And yeah, that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Chubb is into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. He had the option to hand that football off. I think it's safe to say that he made the right decision. That was a heck of a run. It certainly was, and when you mentioned the option, most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. You know, in the NFL, that's usually not the recipe for being around too long. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is, and his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. Sione Taki Taki from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine, counting down toward the midway point in corner one. To try again after the sack, Lance. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. Shuts past another, and he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Now a run with McCaffrey. 
And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run here early on. It didn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. That will throw downfield is taken in by his running back. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll find Ayuk open right side. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Working from the gun, Lance. And it's caught. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. And Lance now to throw. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Niners are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. They kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. The Browns drive about to get started. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries for this group right now. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where's he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Ready? Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Jadavian Clowney there on the stop. 7-7, our score after one. Second and ten. Here's Lance to throw it. Over the middle to Kittle. Complete. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, 32 yards. And the Niners have taken the lead. Gold to add the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game.
After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. drive about to get started and for this offense Charles you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out they threw the interception on the very first play and you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum they're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now to me it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back but make sure you're selective in doing so understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands Now a first down throw, Watson. This is the tight end to Joku. And he'll get nothing out of that one. <laughs> Throwing again on second down, Watson. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49 D as they score the touchdown. And the defense, they were all over that. As soon as that ball was in the air, it was dangerous. Not only was it intercepted, CD, but they return it for the touchdown. Yeah, and he read that the entire way. He was reacting before other players had a chance to react themselves. Had the determination to say, this just won't be a pick. It's going to be six points as he takes it the other way to the end zone. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 21 to 7. Six, they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Chubb on the counter. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Tamanoa Hufanga. He's at the 50. The 30. The 20. 10. 5. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. 